Good afternoon. Very good afternoon. Let's start. Okay. So the last class we discussed about the uh, any problem, Reena? No. Okay. So the last class we discussed about the physical, motor, then emotional and social development of the early childhood or a child from three to six years. Early childhood means a preschool age from three to six years. Okay. So let's move on to the cognitive development. Cognitive development. Fine. So here they ask many questions. It's a part of their milestones. Okay. So they ask many questions. It is basically due to their curiosity. We already discussed that. Then observation skills develop. Their observation develop. They start to observe their external surroundings. Then language development takes place. Power of thinking develop. They start to think about their toys. They start to think about various concepts of various concepts in their life. So their thinking power develops and memory increases memory increases so they start to sorry so they start fine so uh, memory increases which means they start to memorize the poems or they start to memorize the rhymes a b c d so they start to remember so they start to memorize various concepts by this their memory increases then creativity develops hmm? creativity develops it's all are the part of the cognitive milestones or the cognitive development of a child from 3 to 6 years just note down the points then uh, sometimes they make their uh, they make paper toys or paper boards it's all because of their creativity or it's according to their creativity. They cut papers, uh, they cut uh, papers according to some shapes uh, for uh, they cut paper according to the shape of a flower. All these are comes under the creativity. This their creativity skill starts developing. Then they able to find solution, which means uh, not only the not the big, big problems, but here the uh, small child start to solve the problems okay start to solve these small problems which means uh, finding the toy from a place hmm? all these are the cognitive development and then they knows about time hmm? they knows about uh, it's a morning time or an evening time hmm? or a noon time okay they knows about the time the time concept they are aware about the time concept then about distance they uh, they knows about the length width and breadth of an area or space that is that comes under the distance and then color they knows the colors they knows the red color blue yellow and all so they knows the color and what about money hmm? they knows or they understand the difference between coins and notes okay hmm? That also comes under the cognitive development. They understand various concepts like time, distance, color, money, and it's very important. This is the age, which means the early childhood age. They knows their sex concept. In infancy, they don't have the sex concept. What does it mean? Sex concept. In this stage, he or she is aware about uh, that he is a boy or a girl. Okay, he knows that he is a boy or a girl. This is a very important stage in early childhood. The sex concept, the development of sex concept is very important in early childhood. Early childhood is a period from, Reina, it starts from? Two, three. Three to six. Two, two. Three, to three to six. To six. A babyhood is from zero to two and early childhood is from three to six. Okay. These are the cognitive development of early childhood baby. Is it clear? Hmm? 
so they ask many questions observation skills develop their thinking power develop memory increases creativity and they able to find solution the last point is very important they knows about time the time concept distance concept color money and sex concept so this is the age where they understand that he is a she he is a girl or a boy okay so let's move on to the last area of development what is the last area of development rena or the last phase of development if we have different phases of development we finish physical development motor emotional social and cognitive language. very good the last one is language development this was the language development of a child from 3 to 6 years early childhood so language development so here their vocabulary uh, then sentence formation and they starts to form the or they starts to understand or they start to know the correct pronunciation of words okay so the first one is vocabulary basically we have general vocabulary and specific vocabulary we already learned that what does it mean reena general vocabulary and specific vocabulary general what does it mean general vocabulary uh like the name hmm the general words the general words like a name of a flower that is specific specific words name of a flower name of colors or uh, the slang words all these are the specific words uh, usually the words that we use regularly that comes under the general words hmm? always using words okay that is the general so basically we classify the vocabulary into two general vocabulary and specific vocabulary at the time of 3 year the child starts using words like i you and yours okay this is a milestone of language development 3 year hmm? the starting of early childhood he or she starts using the words like i you and yours it's very important and uh, at the 3 year they have or they have their vocabulary is up to 9 900 words okay and 4 to 5 years it's increase into 2000 words and almost at the end of 6th year it increase up to 2500 words this is their vocabulary or their capacity the third year the child starts using the words like i you and yours you need to buy hard this milestones okay the third year they have 9900 words and 4 to 5 years 2000 words and 6 years 2500 words this is their vocabulary or the capacity vocabulary capacity okay now uh, the specific words like thank you please sorry uh the learning numbers counting red white time morning nights all these are the specific words okay specific words next is sentences next is sentences are you able to follow am i fast hmm reena am i fast over oh, wow. fine so next is sentences the 3 to 4 year child a child between 3 to 4 year make five to six word sentences five to six word sentences a three to four year so this is a task for you make a sentence with six words right in a right make a sentence with six words six words and
was it difficult this is a milestone of a child from 3 to 4 years Huh? Need more time or finish? Ah, Meghna, read. Read your sentence with six words. I love my all new dresses. Very good. Meghna, read. Just read. No problem. I love my parents, teachers, and all the girls. <laughs> It's a national anthem. No, it's uh, I learned too much French. <laughs> Very good. Very good. So you are so smart. So three to four year child make five to six word sentences, and a six year make ten word sentences. Okay, that's all about the sentences. And uh, what about the uh, pronunciation in infancy, Megna? They are not like they don't know the correct pronunciation, so they say according to what they can say. But here, the parents and teachers are help the child to improve their pronunciation. Okay, that is the early childhood. So the pronunciation, their vocabulary, mm -hmm. sentence making, all are improved when compared with infancy. Okay. so i'll repeat it once again try to learn within the class fine so early childhood is a period from 3 to 6 years it starts from the age of 3 and it's till the age of 6 years it is a chapter 19 so the first area of development that is physical development there is no uh first is the phys first in physical development that is height there is no gender difference okay there is no difference between boys and girls and about and in the case of weight the boys are heavier than girls hmm? this is the trunk part the upper trunk and the mid trunk rena this is the trunk so uh during the early childhood the trunk length or the length get doubles hmm? and in the case of chest in infancy the chest of the baby is rounded okay the chest of the baby is rounded but in early childhood the chest of the baby is flat okay there is a difference in physical development between the infancy and early childhood and uh, the hands and legs grow in size it's a general part of development the muscles also uh, get strong and heavy the temporary teeth starts falling okay so uh, after the age or between the age of 3 to 6 years the temporary teeth the 20 temporary teeth starts to fall one by one and uh, the permanent teeth 
start to emerge then the bonds grow in size and the internal organs like the digestive system all the internal organs starts to develop or they continue their development this is a motor development they try to eat food with spoon they eat with other, with another task which means what does it mean uh, they can eat by doing another task they can eat by watching tv they can eat by reading books uh, that comes under the motor development and they run without fail uh, at the age of 4 to 5 years they can climb stra uh, stairs without help these all are the motor developmental milestones of early childhood baby rain it's for you so please listen and then uh, emotional development basically all the emotions emerge uh, during the uh, or till uh, till 2 years of age all the emotions emerge but during the early childhood these emotions appear in different situation which means in infancy all the emotions emerge all the emotions are emerge in infancy but in early childhood the causes uh, the uh, reasons for the emotions are changed okay there is a only difference in the emotional development between the infancy and infancy and early childhood okay list few emotions reena emotions like uh, in early childhood Ah, you can list the emotion. Just list the emotion, no matter uh, to infancy. Anger, anger, very jealousy, good. sad. Ah, oh, very good. Um, irritated. Hmm. Hmm. Fine. Then. And these are the common emotions: fear, anger, jealousy, anxiety, affection, joy, and curiosity. Okay. and this emotions or in this the fear anger jealousy and anxiety all these are the negative emotions the negative emotions the fear anger jealousy and anxiety the affection joy and curiosity belongs to the positive emotions is it clear ena okay so next is social development uh, the quality of leadership with the help of play ha huh? uh, all this development all the social milestones are sorry all the social development are with the help of play okay with the help of play they starts to learn leadership quality they uh, the cooperation competition the feeling of competition all these are the part of play or with the help of play huh? so the play is very important for a early childhood or a early childhood baby any doubts fine Reena, is the screen visible? No, ma'am. You are not shared. Okay. So now we are going to discuss about different types of parents. Okay, this is a part of social emotional development. There are certain factors that affect our social development or our emotional development our parents family school all these are certain factors that affect our socio emotional development right hmm? there are lots of factors that affect this development so very important is parents hmm
so there are different types of parents some parents are over protective these are the different types of parents over protective parents rejecting parents this is a one mark question rejecting parents and then over strict parents and the last one that is democratic parents these are the different uh, kinds of parents okay over protective parents rejecting parents over strict parents and democratic parents which one is more better rena which parenting is better uh democratic migna democratic yeah it's a right answer the democratic parenting uh, if the parents have a balanced behavior the children also develop a balanced socio emotional development okay so there are these are the different types of parenting over protective parenting rejecting parenting over strict parenting and democratic parenting what does it mean over protective parenting over protective can you give an example rena they protect uh, uh, the child like very protective they no don't do like um, they don't send their child alone to a nearby place very good so uh, their children lack the basically their children lack self confidence right hmm? the parents that is over protective parents their children are very self lack self they lack self confidence fine and what about rejecting parenting they reject all like uh, everything like Uh, they will ask, "Shall I go to my friend's house?" No. Shall they reject I... all the activities of the baby, or they reject all the activities of the child. Due to this reason, they are not emotionally stable. Ah, uh, they feel that they are not stable in front of others. They can't control their emotions. Ah, uh, that is rejective parenting. That is a basic uh, demerits of rejective parenting. these all over protective parenting rejecting parenting and over strict parenting all these are negative parenting so the very important parenting that is or the very good parenting that is democratic parenting what does it mean democratic parenting means the parents are in a balanced form or a balanced behavior that is democratic parenting so the children belong to this parents they are their emotional or social development is also balanced okay what does it mean the democratic parenting they give freedom to their children but sometimes they become strict to their children a balanced behavior according to their activities so the parents are balanced due to this balanced behavior their children also have the balanced the emotional and social development is it clear fine so what are the types of uh, parents different types of parent in our society we have different types of parents right what about your parenting megna or your parents what about your parents hmm? democratic democratic so it's very good to be a democratic parents hmm? then only What is the importance of democratic parenting, Reena? They give equal importance. Hmm. They give equal importance, which means, like yeah, sometimes uh, they give equal importance for the siblings. They give equal importance to all the children. They give freedom to the activities. They give freedom for the activities, and then, so due to this action or due to this behavior, the child. emotional development or the social development is in the right track okay vena what about your parents democratic democratic okay according to my case uh, sometimes my parents are strict 
sometimes they are democratic ha huh? it's for our own a uh, good goodness okay so that's all about this chapter the chapter 19 early childhood hmm so now we are in the unit 3 that is childhood we finish the first part that is infancy or the development of a child from 0 to 2 years we covered all the development and then we uh, discussed about the early childhood early childhood is a period from meghna is a period from 3 to 6 years very good it starts from 3 till the age of 6 years then uh, list the areas of development reena or the different phases of development both are right okay the areas language. of development or different uh, phases of development language oh. very good uh, language motor, de motor development physical development okay. cognitive ah oh. oh, okay very good summarize the physical development we already finished that summarize the physical development the physical, physical development, development means, what does it mean uh, the increase or decrease in the height weight or we compare our proportions we compare the organs with other organs for an example in infancy their head does not proportionate with their whole body hmm? their head is large at the time of birth a baby huh? a baby's head is very large so the head does not proportionate with the entire body it's very important okay and then what about their face in infancy their face is also very small hmm the face is very small so the face is not proportionate with the head head is very large and their face is very small and that is the physical development of an infant what about an early childhood reena a child early child ah oh. the body will be a bit of proportionate yeah good then then infant infancy hmm. in early childhood basically the development is a little slower uh, when compared with the infancy all the development the physical mental emotional all the development is a little slower when compared with the infancy then what about the digestive system compare with infancy and early childhood they uh, the all the organs start growing more Uh, that's fine what about the digestive system at the time of birth their digestive system is not fully developed hmm we can't give chicken to an infant why their digestive system is not developed our breast milk is the lightest food for the baby okay then what about the digestive system of early childhood uh they be more develop than um the infant they can eat hmm. um food that adult have hmm fine a, a bit like a bit more lighter hmm. than adult in this stage they uh, their digestive system can easily digest the solid foods okay the solid foods first we give the liquid food the breast milk that is the first food for the baby Ah, huh? this breast milk has all the nutritive values. It is in liquid form. Why? Because their digestive system is not fully developed. That is the reason why we give the breast milk to the baby. Then we introduce the liquid foods. Hmm. After the breast milk, we give we uh, provide the uh, liquid foods like the uh, juices, the apple juice, carrot juice, and all. That's a liquid food. Then we give the semi-solid food. What are the semi-solid foods? We give the mashed potato or mashed banana hmm? then solid foods okay so this is the time that is a preschool time they can easily digest all the solid foods solid foods means semi solid means we mash the banana that is a semi solid food banana solid food means all like we give the fruits, fruits or give the vegetables hmm. vegetables like as natural form natural like, form uh, very good that is a solid form and then okay what about the uh, cognitive development i told you that in infancy 
hmm? the pha classified some pha classified the development right we already discussed the cognitive development i think in chapter 9 hmm? the earlier periods hmm. the cognitive development the first stage of the cognitive development is what is the first stage sensory very good sensory motor stage what does it mean infant uses his or her senses and the motor skills to gain the informations from the surroundings okay he or she uses his sense organs and he or she uses the motor skills like the hands legs and all to grasp the to grasp the information from the outside world or the physical world okay that is a sensory motor stage it belongs to 0 to 2 years 0 to 2 years is the sensory motor stage it's very important when a next stage that is early childhood stage from 3 to 6 years what is the what is the stage cognitive stage after sensory motor stage okay now what is it after the usage of senses and motor skills then make the help pre operational stage very good what is it reena pre pre operational stage so in infancy it's sensory motor stage and in early childhood it's pre operational stage hmm that is the cognitive developmental part and then then we learned we, we learned about the language development language development hmm what about the language development in infancy megna uh, the vocabulary is not correct and they say two two three Just words just okay before that jan learn specific vocabulary Fine. Okay. So, what about the language development in infancy? Hmm? We can easily divide the language development into two. That is, pre-linguistic stage and linguistic stage. Ah, huh? the cooing, babbling, the crying gestures, all are the pre-linguistic stage. And linguistic means the words, sentences, vocabulary, and pronunciation. Okay. Hmm. And then, what about the language development in early childhood, Reena? language development in early childhood they started to making sentences yeah uh two three or six two three six words okay a child between three to four years can easily make a six word sentences then vocabulary up to 2500 words early childhood they have vocabulary up to 2500 words then what about their pronunciation correct pronunciation uh, they uh, attempt uh, make mistakes and all hmm make na by the assistance of parents and teachers their pronunciation can be better you can easily improve their pronunciation 
because the imitation is there hmm? they start during this stage that is early childhood stage they start to imitate the others okay then what about the cognitive development they knows about the time concept so then sex concept distance colors hmm? they know all these concept at the early childhood okay